Welcome to my tutorial on the double declining balance depreciation method. Please like and subscribe for more simple solutions. I always like to read the last sentence in an accounting question so I know what to look for. So it says here calculate the net book value and depreciation expense for year two. It is also important to note under the double declining balance method salvage value is always ignored when calculating the rate. The salvage value limits the total amount of depreciation that can be taken. For example, you cannot depreciate the book value less than the salvage value of 100000 which is indicated right here. We have a salvage value of 100000 You can never go below 100000 The double declining balance rate of depreciation is simply twice the rate of the straight line depreciation. So again, when using the double declining balance method, make sure to ignore the salvage value when calculating the rate, as you can see here. Okay, keep in mind here that we are calculating the rate of depreciation and not the depreciation expense. That will be in another step. Okay, so straight line depreciation rate is equal to 100 percent over the five years and that is going to give us a 20 percent depreciation rate. Now the double declining rate of depreciation it's simply going to be twice that. So it's going to be 20% times 2, 40%. So let's remember to use the correct depreciation rate of 40%. So we take our base of 400,000. times 40% and that is going to give us 160,000 year 2 is going to be 400,000 minus 160,000 oops Okay, times 40% again to give us 96,000. 96k. Let's make that a little bit clearer. Okay, the book value is simply going to be. Four hundred thousand minus one hundred and sixty thousand, and that is going to be year one minus ninety six thousand, and that is going to give us one hundred and forty four thousand done. So the key here is always remember to ignore the salvage value when calculating the rate. Remember it's always easier to calculate the straight line rate of depreciation first and then multiply it by 2 to double the rate and then apply it to your base. Thanks for watching. I hope I helped you understand the double declining balance method. Please like and subscribe for more. If you have any comments, please leave it below and I can try to help you.